Hello and welcome my squirrel fans. Alright, so today we're doing a very popular soap of mine. Um, it's called Rainbow on Edge. If you hear squeaking in the background, it's because a certain dog is not allowed in this room. Case in point. And is making a big deal about it. So, she has chosen to start squeaking. <laughs> it's fine. She has puppy brain. She's just over a year old. It's my Boston Terrier. So, we're going to start with tearing this out, if I can remember which button that is, haha, <laughs> and we're going to, let's see, measure out our lye solution individually and then pour them into my colorants and the oils, which I already have those set up and ready to go. I just... All right. I just needed... Just pour this in slowly. There it is. All right, people. So, first color we're doing is gonna be purple. And I'm going to fast forward through that. Got it, and I do. Um, this will be one of the few times that you see me soaping at room temperature, more or less. So, just because I want to get my layers right without my soap seizing up. So, anyway, I didn't say it before, but if you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know what your views on things are. I love to know. Um, I guess for today, I'm just... this in. Make sure it's in. So 
so. And then I'm using the Green Clover and Aloe by Nature's Garden. That's already hardening. That's awesome. So, just scoop that down there. And I'm not going for perfection, I'm just going for layers. Um, if every bar isn't perfect, that's fine. Um, I am not a perfectionist. Like whatsoever. Um, I do have some OCD about things, certain things, but I don't believe in perfection. I believe perfection is boring. So you will hardly ever see me go there. Um, do I try to get things to how I want them and how I see them in my head? Yes, absolutely, because. You know, who doesn't? Who doesn't do that? Alright, so right here. Yes, I'm making a mess. <laughs> um, this is organic cocoa powder. And that's one of the things that makes this so unique. Is that it's not a mica line it's a cocoa powder line so I love the fact that I can tell people it's like yeah it's got chocolate in it which they love they really do love that so all right I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up here and then I'll come back for the next layer all right so let's get our next layer poured out. So it didn't quite come out even when I was doing this. So I have it set up so that um, my last layer has the most oils in line and that's going to be the paint because you know everybody in this world loves pink except for me yes that is right people I don't like pink I've never liked it even when I was a small kid I thought it was a horrendous color the only pink outfit I let my mom dress me up in, and she's not a huge fan of pink either, but she had the vision, you know, little girl, dress her up all in pink frills, it didn't work. Um, even as a little child, I, the only outfit I let her dress me up in that was pink was Minnie Mouse, because I love Minnie Mouse. Now, um, come on, turn it off. There you go. Oh, good child of mine. Yes, I talked to my tools. So, yeah, <laughs> pink is not my color choice. Will I incorporate designs that have pink in them? Absolutely. Um, this one is a very notable exception for that. Um, a lot of people love this soap. Um, I personally love the smell of it and I love the different um, challenge of doing the layers. So, all right, I'll come back.
right. So now we're going to quickly switch. This is already firming up. It's just liquid enough to be pourable, which is good. That's what we want, I swear. <laughs> like I said, I am stick blending this a little bit, well, not a little bit, a lot thicker than what I normally do. And I find that this fragrance oil semi accelerates. So between those two things, um, it's kind of perfect for this soap because it means that I actually get some pretty nice, de nicely defined layers. So I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like like it when I use an accelerating fragrance for layers. Because it means that, and I already had the fragrance in my oils, which I never do that. So we're gonna clean up the sides here. Blend that in just a smidge on the edges. So that it's seeable but you don't want it too thick or your soap layers are going to separate that's just the truth of the matter all right I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna just speed through the rest of the layers because otherwise it's just gonna get boring Be 
So, one of the things that I keep seeing popping up I'm going to make this very clear. I have actually had somebody um, it was a while ago because I was doing a vending event and they kind of accused me of trying to copy Katie Carson from Royal Soap and with my frosting. And yes, this is on the runnier side, but I kind of want it that way because these are supposed to be more cloud-like than actual like dollops. So, but basically what happened was they accused me of copying Katie Carson and <laughs> it's like, okay. So I get it that she's the queen of frosting and she's an amazing, talented person. Um, I love her stuff. But, um, I make a point in trying to be as original as I possibly can because I got into this for me and my enjoyment and nobody else. Um, I've always enjoyed baking. So, frosting things, nothing new about that for me. <laughs> Um, as soon as I found out that you could frost soaps, I was like, hey, I got some great ideas. So that's what happened there. So just putting that out there. <laughs> And then as you saw before I started piping, I went ahead and I put a little bit um, of piping down, just to, you know. And then I've got some embeds, and they're just little rainbows. Clear. They're clear and they're clear for a reason. There's so many colors going on in this soap. Alright, so we're just adding a little glitter. No, I don't like glitter either, but it looks good on the soap. It brings out the edges. It just kind of does something. Makes it look cute. <laughs> so. Alright. We're just gonna get these. I know. I don't like pink. I don't like sparkle. <laughs> I do incorporate both into my soaps because a lot of other people do enjoy them. Um, but my simpler soaps are honestly the ones that I prefer to use. So, yeah, normally I let this set up a little bit more, but it is what it is today. It's supposed to resemble more clouds than also so there you go I will bring you back for the cut which will be tomorrow but get in there thank you
which will be tomorrow, but it'll be in a few seconds for you guys. Meanwhile, bring you up a little close for that. So I think it's cute. It's simple, but it's cute. And there's more going on in, on the inside, so it, it just kind of works. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, squirrel fans, we're back for the cut. Let's see how my pretty baby turned out. Um, are we ready? <laughs> it's like peeking under the skirt. All right, look at that. <laughs> the sides are a little wonky, but that's okay. That's what beveling is for. Um, <laughs> other than that, looks pretty darn good. I'm going to go ahead and pull this over here. We're just gonna go down that side real quick and then this side real quick. And then while I've got it, we'll do the edges. I won't do the beveling for all the bars, but it's easiest to get this part of it, and these edges, when it's still a full thing. So. That's what I thought. All right, that's what we're looking at right there. So not perfect, especially right there, but you can see the lines. They're there. That's what I was after. So I'm pretty darn happy with that. Um, so let's do one more. Oh yeah, there it is. Pretty, pretty. This is rainbow on edge. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of these.
cut rainbow on edge. They're all done. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share, all the things. You probably know more than I do. Um, that's all I got. I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me.